Hi guys, Gareth here from Heartfelt Horsemanship and Jamie is on Bella I'm on the Stallion Dreamy and we just want to talk about uh, something that comes up with confusion with a lot of our students and students in general um, learning about the backup so we end up seeing a lot of students tip their shoulders back when they do the backup so what Jamie's doing now with his shoulders back and the feet are extremely far forward. Now the feet being extremely far forward is not the worst thing in the world to exaggerate it when you're starting to teach the maneuver. We want the horse to see as big a difference as possible when we're first teaching it. But that should be a thing of the past within the first probably 10 hours of your riding maximum. So see how Jamie's shoulders tip back? It puts your weight in a very awkward position. So although we do national horsemanship and we don't really, we want to do, have people understand the horse behavior way before we ever get to working on position. We need to clarify this because people tend to think that because we say we sit back on our pockets, they think our shoulders suddenly come out of line. We still want to aim for, let me just get more in position here. Um, I'm going to be side on from Jamie. Okay, we still aim to have our shoulders and our hips and our ankles in line. Now, the, when Jamie gives that cue for the backup, her feet go slightly forward. But watch your shoulders. Her shoulders and her hips stay in position, her stay in line down, and then the backup comes. <clears throat> Jamie, can you just do one without rain quickly? So, shoulders and hips, her seat drops but her hips stay and the horse can still understand that okay now this is even Bella is only just coming back into work with Jamie Jamie's been off with after hip surgery um, you would even use less as the horse progresses you'd even use less of a wiggle so we while we there we go so see how little Jamie's wiggling her legs there and she's getting she's getting a result we don't want to continuously see that flapping about. So if I did it on Dreamy, I'll actually show you from above. If I'm asking for a backup, I don't want it always to be with as much motion as I'm doing now. I want it to eventually be just that little wiggle over there. Okay. And then we get the backup. So while we exaggerate to teach things at the start we don't want people sh throwing their shoulders back that puts your weight in a very awkward position of the horse's back and makes it uncomfortable to, for the horse to lift its shoulder now the reason see jamie started straight to the rein there and that's on occasions you you might want that but to have a horse learn off your seat jamie will start with her feet and if the horse actually backs up won't pick up on the rein. Now that's how we get a horse to respond to our legs and seat is that we have the leg movement and the seat movement for a good four beats. So if you think about a tapping beat, you do that four beats before you pick up your rein. If you do it at the same time, they're only going to ever respond to the rein because your rein is the harsher cue. So we've spoken about operant conditioning, um, which is you start with the lightest phase possible and the horse will eventually respond to that lighter phase to avoid the firmer phases. So there we go. So if you want your horse to back up without having to use reins, you have to start with your feet before you pick up your reins. It also enables them to put themselves in a position before you try and pull them in a position with their nose so you get that hindquarters underneath them otherwise they, they get a little tipped out on the on the nose or the tip tip in too much so i just want to go through those phases with you again when we talk to our, what, students that have been through clinics or done our course or one-on-one -on -one lessons will know the term eyes belly button leg rain so what? Sorry, Jamie's glowing in the dark here. It's a very awkward position. Um, Sorry. There we go. Okay. Now, Jamie will do ours. And the, for this one, is her chin comes up and she looks upwards. That puts her body in the right position. Her shoulders stay above her hips. Then the feet come forward. 
and then she'll do the slight wiggling. Now her feet are off the horse, she's not kicking. There's about there's daylight between her feet and the horse. We're not kicking our horse backwards. Then she only picks up the rein. That is the operant conditioning, the phases that builds a nice light horse and allows them to prepare the, their body properly for the backup. Great guys, we'll be doing more videos. We're trying to get videos up to, uh, every single day. In fact, we did two yesterday and we'll probably be do two today. Some of them are just interesting videos for you guys to watch while you're in lockdown. Um, but we will get as much of the educational stuff as possible. Now Jamie's only going to release when Bella's head's down. That's the next phase of this. If I show you on Dreamy quickly, I will move my feet. He'll start backing up. Then I'll pick up and I'll wait for that head to get in position. Cool, please like and share our videos. Um, the more you like our videos, the more you share our videos, the bigger our reach gets. And that means we get our message of creating a better world for horses and their humans. Cheers guys.